so in this video I'll be going over um, how to sample colors how to import a reference image and also use it to sample colors from it and also how to orbit around specific points of your mesh so the first one is to learn how to sample colors so I went ahead and um, made a base colors uh, layer for my model so that I, I can see colors and we can show you better and I can show you better how to sample the colors so let me just make a new layer so the hotkey for uh, to sample a color is V as in virus so if I hover an area like this and I press V I can sample whatever color I'm over so I also have my color palette open and set to triangular so as you can see I'm going to sample this color and we can see that it changes right here so I got let me increase my opacity here so as you can see that if I sample this color you can use that and so on so that's pretty much how you can sample a color just use the V key and you can sample um, so you are getting a color for your, um, your primary color and if you want to switch between these two you can press X just like in Photoshop and you can continue to sample you know different colors you can switch so that's how to sample your colors um, so now what I want to show you how to use the reference image so to do that under the color palette uh, open the drop down and choose image as you can see here I already have my reference image that I used to make this weapon so you can choose select and choose whatever image you have on your saved up on your computer and that's going to show up here and you can zoom in and look closer to your image so to sample uh, in an image you can still use the V key you can see here sample this color and I can start to use whatever colors I sample here to um, let me decrease the opacity here to use on my actual uh, texture so you can use reference images for uh, not just to look at them but also to sample colors from them as you can see so anyway that's just uh, the last thing I want to show you is how to orbit around a specific point in your mesh so to do that if you press F on a specific point you can see that uh, the cursor appears right there so that means I'm rotating around that point and if I do that here F now I'm rotating around that point. So that's really useful when you want to get close to areas and you're finding it difficult to uh, get close to those areas. So that's pretty much uh, all I wanted to show in this video. Um, I'll be having a few more tutorials on how to use some of the other tools.